Good morning, everyone. I'm Camilla Kruzer-Locker of 3M. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking the organizers of the Global Innovation Forum for the opportunity to present to you today. I truly wish we had the opportunity of doing this in person, of course. But given the current environment, I'm excited to be uh, able to share with you some of our findings related to science and innovation. Let me start by introducing myself. I'm a chemist with a master's degree in polymer science. Uh, I'm Brazilian and I have worked for 3M for over 20 years in Brazil, Argentina, the US, and more recently here in Germany. I am the vice president of our R&D operations in uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And I also lead the corporate research laboratories in, in Europe, where we develop new technologies that will be used later on uh, by 3M in uh, new product development. Also for the, for the past five years, I have been engaged in diversity and inclusion initiatives in the company with a special uh, interest in advancing women careers in STEM or science, technology, engineer, and mathematics. Um, to those of you don't know, who don't know, uh, 3M is a global company founded in 1902 in the US state of Minnesota. We are recognized by our strong history and culture of innovation, which has enabled over 120,000 successful pen, patent applications. Our 94,000 employees include more than 8,000 technical employees and scientists all around the world who share and combine 3M technologies across all of our businesses to invent and manufacturing cutting edge products. We are present in over 200 countries worldwide and only in the UK, we have 16 locations. You are likely to come across uh, a 3M technology around 100 times a day, many as components of other manufacturers' products. And however, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm sure you have also seen the 3M logo on the personal protective equipment worn by healthcare professionals and first responders as they work to protect and care for our loved ones. Globally, we are organized around four business groups, which drive our business model and go-to-market strategies. Uh, and they are uh, safety and industrial, with divisions such as abrasives, personal safety division, and industrial adhesives and tapes, with products that are sold primarily through channel partners, including e-commerce. Then we have transportation and electronics, with divisions such as automotive and aerospace solutions division and electronics materials solutions. These divisions uh, establish close partnerships with the OEMs and tier customers to understand their needs and trends and understand where their industry is going and then work to develop solutions. Um, third, we have the healthcare business group with divisions such as medical solutions, oral care, and health information systems, which we serve mainly directly to healthcare professionals. And then last but not least, consumers with the brands that are most known in the market, such as Post-it, uh, Scotch, and Command, uh, commercialized by divisions such as home care and uh, construction and home improvement divisions predominantly through consumer retail, B2C, and omnichannel. I could say without a doubt that there isn't a day you don't get in contact with one of our products, either from stationary materials like tapes and post-it notes, or multiple solutions present in your car or mobile phone like adhesive tape. So let me go into innovation, right? Um, Innovation is what makes most of 3M culture. The slogan of, the, of 3M is science applied to life. This is what unites uh, all 3M businesses. Science is the foundation of the 3M brand. This is our main heritage. And what brought 3M to be the company we are today is our continuous ability to convert the science behind our 51 technology platforms into customer-focused innovation. And this is why science matters to us. 
This pandemic underscored the critical role that science and the business community have in solving global challenges. Topics like sustainability become the biggest challenge today, and we understand that it's up to us to address it. One of 3M, 3M's biggest impacts to sustainability efforts was the implementation of a sustainability value commit, commitment into every 3M product that enters the new product commercialization process, meaning that each new product must help solve at least one environmental or social challenge. <clears throat> Our various sustainability projects connect to Science for Circular, Science for Climate, and Science for Community. And in that community pillar, we are committed to creating a more positive world with science, and we have a long-standing commitment to education, to STEM equity in all communities that we operate around the world. <clears throat> science is now more important than ever. As a science-based company, we appreciate to know what people think about science. If science is underappreciated or unsupported, there are future consequences that may impact science and the role it plays in society. As we didn't find any studies globally and recent enough, we commissioned the studies ourselves. So we conducted uh, the State of Science Index for the first time four years ago to better understand how the world views science and why they view it that way. So the, the 3M Science uh, Index put a spotlight on what people from all around the world thought and how, how they felt about science. In 2018, the results of the first study re revealed us that the world has a complicated relationship with science. Science skepticism had grown year over year for the past three years, as you can see in the graph, making skepticism a, uh, an undeniable trend. But that trend has reversed itself during the pandemic. The percent, percentage of science skeptics dropped by eight points since our pre-pandemic survey, um, making a significant decline in, in three years. People experience firsthand the vital role that science plays in our everyday lives. Last year, science became even more relevant, more important, and more inherently interesting. And as scientists took center stage on new platforms, the world listened. And the other aspect is that the trust in science and in, in scientists is the highest that it has ever been. The world's confidence in science is confirmed every day as we see more and more examples of its impact. Uh, from the COVID-19 recovery to advancing sustainability, making a meaningful, meaningful difference. Science has been the hero in the forefront with preventative measures, new treatments, and effective vaccines, all developed using sound, data-driven scientific methodology by a diverse community of dedicated professionals. Science is definitely having its moment. Um, one example, right? Uh, four out of 10 people said that if science didn't exist, their lives wouldn't be different. This back in 2018 when we first did this uh, research, right? And get that, they were taking the survey using their computers or their mobile phones, right? So how, how is that possible? So at the end of the day, we realized that science was invisible. Science was underappreciated. And that is, of course, the problem. The main problem is that people do not see science itself, but only see the end result. And they don't realize, for instance, that the technology that they enjoy, like cars, microwaves, coffee machines, mobile phones, uh, there is fundamental science that allows them to enjoy and afford all these benefits. And the most important thing is that if people do not believe that science is needed, this means that their children will not believe in it, which implies that our chances of solving problems, which on our planet are many, are diminishing. And for 3M, this is a challenge. Um, some 
of the other things people around the world say is that they were more excited about science as a child than, than today. 36% of those surveyed said that only geniuses could have a career in science. But who do a label like this deter the most from pursuing a career in, in science? Exactly those who are underrepresented in many of the STEM fields. Across the globe, women trailed men in the positive sen sentiment of, for science, as you can see in the graph. In fact, when we asked, 25% of men agreed that they could have a satisfying career in STEM, and only 9% of the women responded the same way. Uh, but deep down, even in our 2018 studies, it looked like people knew science was important, important for the future. Results around the globe showed that people wanted the next generation to pursue science. I, I don't care so much about science, but go ahead, little kids. You go do science. That is kind of the perception here. So paradoxically, people are convinced that science is not important to them personally, but they would like their children to learn and become scientists. But this position, unfortunately, is ineffective and practically does not work. We must show our interest to children by personal example. But the good news is that 82% of those surveyed consider a career as a scientist as a good future for their children. But we know it doesn't work this way, right? Kids need role models and uh, science needs more advocates. And we knew we couldn't keep these results to ourselves. So we have been repeating this survey every year since 2018. Uh, the results for 2020 came right before the pandemic. And once the pandemic was raging, the world changed so much that we decided to do another poll to understand the impact of the pandemics on the perception of science. And now this year, we did it again to understand how people have accommodated their feelings towards science. This year's survey is our fifth wave of SOSI, the State of Science Index, and it includes 17 countries, making it the largest data pool to date. And in each country, we have thousand people surveyed. If you want to learn more, you can access the complete results uh, of all years in our website, 3m.com slash science index. Um, in 2021, the results show that a, a year into the pandemic, science brings hope to the world. And interest in science, STEM education, and career continues to grow. Results also show that for people around the world, protecting the planet is a priority that requires immediate attention, and there is an emphasis on global scientific collaboration for innovation in solving not just the current, but any future challenges we may face. During the pandemic, 92% of people said that we need to follow the science, and 85% said that there are negative consequences if we don't value science. Oops. By 2021, with vaccines around the corner, there was hope, and that hope fostered trust. Thanks in large part to the progress made in the fight against COVID-19, trust in science remains the highest it's been since we began tracking four years ago. It grew significantly in the UK after a year of living through lockdowns, indicating a parallel between hope and rising trust. The survey revealed that 93% of the British people uh, trust science today, a significant increase of nine percentage points from the 2020 pre-pandemic survey. People who agree science is very important to their everyday life remain at the highest level as well. I will defend science when someone questions it. This is the kind of affirmation that became very strong. So people became very aware of the impact that science was going to have uh, for them. In the UK, this hopefulness includes priorities that science can solve for beyond health, such as sustainability and STEM equity gaps. 
sustainability theme is bolstered since 2020 results and has a greater focus. The pandemic has brought a sense of urgency with the world calling for solutions to mitigate climate change. A significant majority agrees that solutions to mitigate climate change need to happen immediately and confirm their belief that the world should follow science to help create a more sustainable future. More than four in five people say focusing on sustainability is key to returning to a pre-pandemic normal. And 68% of the people surveyed in the UK uh, state that the pandemic has made them more environmentally conscious. In February, 2000, uh, in February this year, 3M announced plans to invest 1 billion over the next 20 years to accelerate new environmental goals, including achieving carbon neutrality by 2050, reducing water use by 25% at our own facilities and return higher quality water to the environment after use in our manufacturing operations. In April to, uh, from this year, again, 3M announced an additional new goal to reduce its use of virgin fossil-based plastic by 125 million pounds within five years. As a result of the pandemic, also the uh, Generation Z has become more environmentally conscious, 80% said that, compared to baby boomers who are 73%. Um, the pandemic has ignited a renewed interest in STEM careers and education. Scientists and medical professionals, professionals are inspiring people to pursue STEM-based careers in the future, especially among younger generations. Over half are more inspired to pursue a STEM career due to the pandemic. And while 90% agree the world needs more people pursue STEM careers, barriers to entry remain. Events of the past year have put a spotlight on the education gap within underserved communities. We have seen this. Gender inequalities, an equal, unequal um, access to a quality STEM education for under-resourced students continue to affect economic outcomes uh, across the globe. We must all do our part to create greater opportunities by strengthening STEM investments, eliminating underrepresentation in STEM, and bridging the STEM talent gap so that we can all realize the promise of a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive society. Uh, within ongoing social justice issues, uh, the world is eager to see a shift in inequities for underrepresented groups within STEM. Most respondents agree that it is essential to increase diversity in STEM, recognizing that it enables greater global collaboration, innovative ideas, and new and improved approaches to existing uh, research techniques. Uh, but still, more than two-thirds acknowledge that equal access to STEM education is often not available to underrepresented minorities. Within uh, STEM, equity gender disparity remains an issue. There are negative consequences to society if the science community fails to attract more women and girls. More needs to be done to keep women and girls engaged in STEM education. Uh, females are discouraged from STEM more than males. We at 3M are taking an action. So we have invested $41 million in STEM support in 2019 and committed to an additional $50 million to a social justice fund to benefit underrepresented and diverse populations in 2020. And in 2021, as part of our overall commitment to creating greater equity in our communities, business practices and workplaces, 3M set a new goal, education-focused goal. The company will advance economic equity by creating 5 million unique STEM and skilled trades learning experiences for underrepresented individuals by the end of 2025. And there is no surprise that these themes continued in 2021. 
And the result shows that uh, a year into the pandemic, science brings hope to the world and interest in science, especially STEM education and STEM careers, continue to grow. Uh, results also show that for people all around the world, protecting the planet is a priority that requires immediate attention. And there is an emphasis on global scientific collaboration for innovation in solving not just the current, but any future challenges we may face. And globally, 89% say science gives me hope for the future, even higher in the UK with uh, 91%. Overall, uh, for 2021, hope is the defining sentiment and trust remains at the highest level. There is a renewed focus on STEM because of the pandemic. We recognize the importance of science for the society and for solving sustainability challenges. And the public has an expectation of the shared responsibility of public and private sectors. Collaboration between public and private sectors to advance science is overwhelmingly supported. About half of people expect corporations to work with governments to advocate for regulations and policies that solve global challenges. If we did dig deeper in the data for UK around role of corporations in supporting STEM, you see that 88% believe that corporations should play a role in improving diversity within STEM, with activities such as internships, grants and scholarships for underrepresented students, and also creating resources for kids to get excited about science. As cliche as it may sound, uh, there are, they are the future, right? And this is so important that the data even reflects that. So STEM professionals and academics have a huge influence on shaping our world. And we need that diversity of thought and experience the more as we can get. 87% of people responded that we need to do more to keep girls and women engaged. And we see that it is important to have diversity in STEM as 88% of our global respondents agree. So we see that science is important for our future, innovation is important for science, and diversity is important for innovation. So we need to do a lot more to shatter the stereotypes and inspire more underrepresented students, especially women. So to summarize, uh, at this moment in time, science is having its moment, right? This is a blast. And knowing that the image of science is improving because of a, a global health crisis is not a reason to, for joy, uh, certainly, but the context behind this year's study suggests that science became the hero in the story of the pandemic. With preventative measures, with new treatments, and with effective vaccines. And we need to keep that momentum going. We are proud that at 3M, we are able to identify the path forward. The health of the global community, STEM equity, a path to sustainability, and expectation of shared responsibility. And this will allow the continuity of the hero image for science. With that, I end my presentation and I thank uh, all of you for participating in this year's Global Innovation Forum and thank uh, the organizers for inviting me. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to share our vision of science and I hope you feel inspired to help advocate for science yourself. Thank you.